That's the name of the program. Yeah. Your daily power with me. Hey, yeah, look at this. It's Ooh. the program. Hey. It's the title of the program. Look at this show. Yeah. Sean's there, too, but he's hiding. Hey, Sean, where are you going to be hiding? There's a robot, I guess, right? Sean, Sean. Uh, show, show yourself. Yeah. Where are you? Where are going? No, that thing's not hooked up right now. I haven't gotten completely back hooked up since we went to the field. Oh, uh, yeah. Almost, though. Did you guys like that? Did you guys like hey, that episode yeah. last week, or two days ago? Back in the studio, day after day, it's your daily hour with me, hey, it's your daily hour with me, hey, I am Sean. Sean's a robot. Hey, I am Sean. Hey, Sean. How's it feel to be a robot? Hey, I am Sean. I guess Sean's repetitive, yeah, I can't say that much. Uh huh. There he is. You wanna get a camera out? Oh, there he is, yeah. Uh, uh, uh there he uh, is. Sean's over there, he has a mic. You want a mic? Oh, yeah, you get a mic? He's got a mic there. He's holding it up. <laughs> all right. Uh, well, what are they, what, what's this all about, Rick? Yeah. Today, we're going to turn, turn on the machines, and then we're going to start talking. So we're going to talk for an hour, starting now. We're starting, I guess, a couple minutes ago when we started the show. So now we're getting through it. It's Sean today. He's, he's here. Today is, uh, let's see. It's we National Boss Day. Oh, National oh, Boss Day. National Boss Day. So maybe uh, we should give a Robert Robert a call. Yeah, he's my boss. Oh, oh, Not Sean's oh, boss though. Yeah. We talk. Oh, so we can call Robert oh, and, and uh, I'm not gonna call my boss though. He doesn't. I don't think he even knows I have a TV show. So. But shout out to the I bosses. Have, I haven't let him in on that little secret yet. Let him ask the boss. Day. Day. Oh, we go to the boss every day. But maybe they're, putting, they're helping you out because your boss. I mean, they they call you your boss, but they're actually they're helping you work. Sandwiches. Sandwiches, yeah. Well, we got a text. Text. Text from Heather. She Ooh, says we should have the computer read it. Oh yeah. Can you do that? Oh yeah, I can just download it. The program, your program there. What's it called? Talk Any, huh? So Sean's using this program called Talk Any. I don't know how long it's gonna get to take to get it though. Well, Sean, how have you been the last week? Anything exciting happened to you? Is he is he mic'd up? Oh, he's not even no. mic'd up. He's not. Doesn't have his mic on yet. It's okay. We're working it out. We're working the things out. I am good. This is actually part of the program. I that's am getting good. it started. Yeah. I am good. Sounds like he's alright though. What is he saying? It's good. I am I good. I am good. Oh, I'm good. I thought he said good. I am good. Good. I'm good. I am good. I am good. I am good. Is it Ola okay, Ogus? Ogus? Right. Here, here I am. Here I am. Here I'm here. Ogus? I'm here. Ogus? I'm here. I'm here. Is it Ogus? I'm here. Ogus. What's the brand talk, name? Talk any, there is no brand name. It's talk any, call, called one word. Well, Google it. Talk any, one word. We're looking for it. It's also called talk it with an exclamation point. It's talk a great it. program. It's really, I'm not, I don't endorse it, but that's what I'm doing today. And then later on, um, I have uh, these straws. Okay, you can do this at home too. If you just get a normal, if you just get a normal straw, uh, and you cut it at an angle to make a triangle. Uh, you can basically turn any straw into a saxophone. This one's a great saxophone. I have a few models with me today. Can you show us that close up of that, Sean? How to do uh, that? I'll hold it. Hold it still, and I'll try to zoom in okay, here. Okay, all right. I'll hold it still. It's zoomed in on the. It's focusing on the background. I don't know if this thing is auto focus. Yeah, maybe I should put a background behind. It's clear, so it's hard to see here. Maybe I focus on your hand there. Yeah, there. Yeah, oh, yeah, so you little? see, can you rotate it so you can see the, yeah, like that. If you cut it like that, like basically like a beak, um, you can turn it into a saxophone. Let's try it out. Let's try it out, Freddy. All right, I'll, you want to hand me one? That's crazy, Sean. So, 
Have you, does different lengths get different tones or something? Well, if you cut it, if you snap the end of the straw, oh. you, the, the tone gets higher and higher and higher as which, you go up. Which one do you blow in here? The it's really, it's kind of it's kind of hard. You, you blow into the end, that's the beak. And you can bite down a little bit with your teeth, just a little. And you want to blow really hard so that so that the whole string will the whole straw vibrates. I got a little thing there. Let me know if you want one, Kenny. I made like I made like eight of them, cause I, I blow them sometimes, and then people get really annoyed. Yeah. So they, they take it away from me. They just take it, and so then I just reach into my fanny pack and grab another one. This reminds me of the Arrington show. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was watching an Ayrton video just today, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah, one he posted on his Facebook. It was a live performance. It looked like the Northern, but he was playing... I'm lightheaded. I am good. I'm good. I am good. good. Yeah. Well, that text to speech thing's not working on my computer. It's, uh, I have to download a different one if I'm going to use that. But, uh, uh, well, then just read the text, I guess. You can just read it, yeah. It might take a little technical, technical using to get that program running on my computer, so. Heather said, pizza guy from my last episode just delivered pizza at work. Yeah, we don't need a Texas speech guy. I can read. Oh. Yeah, Sorry. you can read it. I, 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 wasn't, I didn't mean to, uh, <laughs> like, uh, Question my literacy? Or? Exactly. That's yeah. what I was saying. Pizza guy from my last episode just delivered pizza at work. Told him your YouTube channel so we could watch it. You guys should make cards with show info. Oh, what's the deal about that? I actually, I got one of those one of those value pack coupon packs. Oh, what's that? Value pack coupon packs? You know, have you seen those? Mm -mm. John, you seen those value pack coupon packs? Yeah, I get books of them in my mail. Yeah, they come in the mail. It's kind of junk mail, but sometimes you can look in the coupon zone. They had one of those like address stickers in there, and I was thinking maybe I could just write in, instead of putting my address on there, <laughs> just writing show information. Oh, and, and then just. Getting those show address stickers and then giving out these stickers. Oh, yeah, you should just number. sell out the address and phone number to all of these solicitors. Yeah. <laughs> so we get all of these solicitors. Oh. That is a brilliant idea. That's oh, yeah, a brilliant idea. Idea. yeah people can How do we get on the do call list? Like, everyone's get on the do not call list. Yeah. You, yeah. Might, you might, like, win a car. You never know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody out there on TV, just start entering this phone number into everything you do. If you're on the internet and you're trying to do the thing, just put on your, this phone number. Uh, you can do. I mean, you can say Rick, you can say Rick Ward, that's fine. Everybody just claim Rick Ward <laughs> in the thing. And, because uh, the that address thing. isn't necessarily linked to your <laughs> and then, information. So yeah, and then the other good thing about it would be, uh, you know, if you are going to, you meet a guy or, or a girl or whatever, and they're not, they're kind of annoying, but they really want your number. Uh, <laughs> the show number. 330-536-3802, that's the number, so... People do that when, yeah, for if you're trying to. This is that's a perfect number to do because we could not only, you know, give them the the news nicely, but then also they could have some kind of a they can have some solace. They're like, no, I really liked that person. You can be like, it's okay. <laughs> there's more we'll fish, we'll there's bigger yeah. fish in the sea. That'd be good. Hopefully we get some John, soon. You should tilt that camera so we can cut to it and point to you. You know what I mean? The other one? Which yeah. one's pointing at me? Um, so far, we just got clock cam pointing at me. 335, What is that? Is that our they number? They just did the number. 335, oh. 3802. Hey, Dad, it's the program. Are you at home? Are you feeling better? Hey, it's Sunday. How has Dan been? Have you seen him, Kenny? I no, saw him today. You. You're going to come in a while? We hope to see you tomorrow, Dan. Uh, I guess if you let me out there, okay, bye-bye. Call back. It's not very wide. Yeah, I don't know where Dan is. He hasn't been calling. He hasn't been leaving messages. So Hopefully you know. he's okay. Oh, things are going crazy. Well, it's even to you, yeah, right? I saw him at work, yeah. It's he true. seemed all right. I don't know if he's gonna we come back. Yeah. Maybe he has quit. Uh, we could, uh, 
Is that all the voicemails and stuff? No. Yep. Oh, really? That's all the messages. Well, I had a, I had a thing I thought it would be fun to call. Yep. Uh, I thought we should call Cedar. Cedar. And he's uh, going to this mushroom show today. Whoa. So he might be there right now. He could talk to us about uh, mushrooms. What's a mushroom show? He'll be able to tell you the answer Whoa, to that question. Out. Sean's trying to set up the other camera for himself over there, see? How's that going, Sean? It's going well. I'm just uh, adjusting it slowly so that I can be careful. And then I just I just kind of want an overhead shot. It's not very wide. It's, it's an old, old uh, VHS camera from a long time ago. Hi, you reached your please leave a message. Oh, sweetheart. I'm be very careful. Is that from Collins? What's that shot look like? Five. That looks like this. Hey, Cedar, this is Freddy and Rick. We're on the program. Rick Ward. Hey, it's and Rick Sean Ward. Too. Nope, this is Rick Ward. Oh. Uh, thank you uh, for being a viewer, Cedar, and a friend. Well, I was calling because I wanted to hear how the Mushroom Fest went, and if you're still there, maybe you can call and give us a little update on how that's going, so... Yep, that's it. What's the Mushroom Fest? Yeah, what is that? Okay, bye-bye, yeah. Cedar. Cedar. What's a Mushroom Fest? Sean's very amused by his computer thing. <laughs> My computer's talking to me. Well, uh, let's call Robert Camp for National Boss Day. I'll tell him how much I appreciate him. He's been a great boss. I got sick and then he recovered and did a nice job. And I'm recovering. He covered me and I'm recovering. Robert has a robot, too. You're going to leave him a message with your computer? Yes, right? He's a good boss. It's National Boss Day. Robot Cam. Robot Cam. I don't know if it went... Uh, robot Cam. Is it still... Are we leaving a message? Yeah, it's, it's robot National Boss Cam. Day. Hey, thanks. Robert, I just wanted to call you on National Boss Day and thank you for being a great boss. Thanks for letting me have the time off when I was sick, and then also... Thank you, MR boss. Yeah, you're my boss, and you're a good boss. He said MR boss. MR boss. He's good boss. Thanks. Bye-bye. Okay, yeah. Thanks. Bye. Thanks, boss. Uh, next, Bye. Next one, boss. It was next week, actually, but we were, we were celebrating it today, right. so... Yeah, that's fine. Have you thanked your boss today? Hopefully, maybe you guys are employed. Bye, 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 bye. A bad holiday in this time of economic strife with that's the true. All occupations going on. Yeah, national boss. National wish I had a boss day. Yeah. You know well, you're your own like, boss. Then you can uh, appreciate yourself. I I'm still not sure boss. about the occupations and what they're about. You know maybe about that, Sean? Wish I had a boss. Huh? You know about those occupations? In a, oh, they they want occupations. Right. Do they use that? They should say, we're occupying for occupations. Occupations <laughs> a job, right? I don't know if that's exactly what they want. I want to occupy you to get behind my kit. Why don't we call somebody uh, who knows about that? Yeah, can we call? Can we call like New York? New York. I, I oh, know a lot of I know a lot of people right now are are fighting for occupations. Yeah, they're gonna yeah. go to they're gonna go to um, occupy. Uh, Occupy Olympia. Occupy Olympia. Occupy Seattle. Is that going to happen? I don't know what that means. I'm, I'm, I'm already occupying here. I mean, I'm standing here. I don't know what the difference is. He's gonna you have a job. Yeah, but it, I don't think that that's what it is either, though. Isn't it that, like, the 1%, like, where the majority of the money in America is, is owned by 1% of the people? Yeah, 99% of the money is spent by 1% of the people, but that's how it's always been since the beginning of time. I think. But that's bad. Yeah, but if they, they keep, that's how the money system works. I don't think you can change that. If think. everyone had a little more money, I don't think anyone would be complaining. And I think if the rich people had lost 20% of their cash, it wouldn't affect anything. Their grandchildren would still go to college. But the, mo yeah, the money would still move. Around. I mean, it would just... I think it... it if it, it leveled out a little bit, I would... Up. If, it, if everything leveled out just a little bit, just like 1% or 2%, I would be happy. Yeah, I... 
I think that the main problem is that the people in power, like, keep themselves in power because they have the power to keep themselves in power, so everyone else just doesn't have any upward mobility, maybe. I don't know, because if 99... I mean, this is why I think we should call someone who has a who, who knows more about it, maybe. All right. A New Yorker? Call yeah. someone in New York? Call somebody in New York. Who's in New York? Uh, McDonald's? Yeah, just call McDonald's and ask him about the occupation. Yeah. That's not going to work. Let's just call what? what where, where are they? In Times Square? Or <laughs> you think there's a McDonald's on Wall Street? <laughs> yeah. Let's try to call Wall Street, Wall Street McDonald's. McDonald's. Yeah. Let's ask him if people are still occupying. And then... Wait, what about those anarchists who came on the show? Did you ever have anarchists? No, they never showed up. Oh. Well, I tried to call them. That was actually on the day that we went downtown. And they, oh. So I was trying to call them, and they never answered. I don't Last think they were going to actually show up. Maybe. We pretty much had an anarchy hour. Yeah, I don't know. Not like anarchy in a political sense, but which one was kind of anarchy hour. Right, exactly. Planarchy. Um, what's Times Square? Or not Times Square. What's called the Wall Street, right? You know, Sean, this straw thing, you got... I have a secret. <laughs> Sean, Sean is so amused by himself. <laughs> <laughs> Sean has a secret. <laughs> um, this might be Wall Street. Yeah, I should sell these. I yeah, should, you know, I should have a that. store with, with uh, you know, airplanes on strings and straws. You, can, you know what you can do? You can do this with dandelions. Did you know that? Really? Nature's straw. Nature's uh, saxophone. Nature's saxophone. I think it's more like a trumpet than a saxophone. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like a jazz sax, man. It sounds kind of like a low clarinet to me. It sounds like a clarinet. Yeah, I, know, I, don't know. <laughs> I keep <laughs> shooting it out of my mouth. <laughs> Is that what this sounds? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> McDonald's? Madonna, I help you. Hey, are, are there still people occupying the streets? Yeah? Are there still people occupying the streets in New York? I can hear you. Can you uh, Is are, are there still protesters? What? Are there still protesters occupying the streets of New York right now? No. No, that's over? Yeah. Did that affect business at all while you guys, while they were happening? Let, uh, hold on a second. Let me put you the money, all right? Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> at hey. least we got info. At Look, least we got we're info. We're going to put to the manager. No, I mean, he was happy to talk to us. Yeah. I'm a glowing man. I think we should call, like, a video store. Someone maybe in a video store would be more... We'll call the next. Hello? Hello? Hey, I was just calling some place in New York because I wanted to see if there's uh, occupations are still happening. Are there still people in the streets and stuff? Are they done? Uh, hang on. Yeah, he hung up. No. A video store, because those people don't do anything. They just sit there. Oh, uh, wait. For oh yeah, is there New York video. Public Access? What about that? We could call them. Yeah, like Public Access New people, York. they're into that Call stuff New York too. Public Access. They're there to talk to you. What, Public Access on Wall Street or New York? <laughs> yeah, I mean, New York's got Public Access. Blockbuster video. Well, Wall Street right, Public blockbuster. Access. <laughs> I guess Wall Street should, Public Access. Yeah. Look at this. Look at my face. Should we not be calling? Yeah, it's really bright. Uh, should corporations, because they're the people oh, who are the corporations are fighting or something. Oh right? yeah, maybe they don't want it to be occupied. Yeah, I wonder if McDon McDonald's is probably, I don't know, big corporation. Well, we're calling this next blockbuster. We're calling blockbuster video. We'll ask them. Uh, yeah, I think blockbuster video is the only one that's closed down. I mean, it's still open. Yeah. Other than videos from the clothes and other private things. Sunday, yes, I am Sunday. Blockbuster is fast, fast, Blockbuster video? Yes. Hey, I wanted to know if you guys have seen any of the occupations. Is that still happening? Say it again. Are there people occupying the streets still? He's calling. He's calling. I can't hear you. Oh, uh, sorry. Thank you. He's calling. Answer it. Yeah. Hello? 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 Caller? Hello? Hey, is this... Is oh, this it's Cedar. Oh, yeah. Cedar, oh, it's a commercial break. Can you, can you wait a second? Yeah. Hello. What? It sounds like shit today. Uh-oh. How about now? What the fuck? How about now? Is it better now? Hello. What? Hello. Is it better it's now? It's a commercial. Is that a commercial? 
Yeah. yeah. Hello. Are we hard to understand today? No one's been under, able to understand us so far. Yeah, it sounds really bad. Huh. I'm gonna try to fix it. Hello, I'm like, it's ah. not to do it. Ah. Ah. Is too loud? Yes. Uh, help us improve the sound. What, what should we do to make ourselves more clear? How, how about now? Is it better? Um, how about I now? I don't know. Okay. I, mean, I don't know about sound. Is it better now? <laughs> I don't know about sound. How about, how about now? Is it better now? Is that Sean Danny? Yeah. Hey, yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. Oh, okay. How about me? I never talk. Uh, Kenny, it sounds like you're, you're speaking through Sean's mic or something. <laughs> Uh-oh. We lost him. Awesome. Are you gone? Yeah. Uh, it crashed. Yeah, crash. yeah we, we crashed. This is Sheeter. a crash. Sheeter. 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 We have to call him again. Sheeter. You think Cedar knows about occupi occupying things? Yes. Can we just yeah. occupy stuff for no? I mean, I don't want to say the riot, but can mm. we just like say that we want to occupy the streets for like for mm. fun or whatever? Mm. You guys want to occupy something? Yeah. I don't think we're well, occupying this space. What do you mean by that? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I'm maybe I'm trying to say about the whole thing. I don't really get what they're trying to do. Boop. Poop. Poop or boob. Boob or boop. Boop or it smells like boobs. <laughs> boop or it smells like boobs. Mm. Well, it's, oh, here well, it is again. Hey, right, see there? Hey, I couldn't hear you guys. It felt good. Are you working is. better now? What? Uh, <laughs> how's the mushroom? How's the mushroom festival? Ah, uh, it was so cool. Yeah. SM so message. What? What is it? What is it? Yeah. Um, they rent out this room at the forestry center, and then they all go mushroom hunting the day before, and then they bring in what they find, and they arrange them on tables with moss and ferns and little shrubberies and dirt and stuff like as if they were in Let nature and then they label them all and they say whether they're edible or poisonous or a little both and you get to learn all about so mushrooms nice time Dora, that's so mushrooms nice time is that a computer yeah yeah <laughs> so okay. some fun. well what's your favorite mushroom um boy that's a tough one Nice computer uh, mushroom. A top, what's a, a top, a, a top one, a good one. Oh, a good one? I mean, a really good one is chanterelles because they're pretty easy to eat and they're pretty easy to find and they look for, fairly cool. They're not your average mushroom. Did they? It's a computer so mushroom. So they pick the poisonous ones too? That's cool. Um, did they pick the poisonous ones? What? Do they have poisonous mushrooms at the festival? Yeah, tons. Wow, that's... Computer mushrooms, computer mushrooms. Yeah, uh, do they have... I've seen one, it's like a beard, something beard. It's all really long and white and stuff. Old man's beard? Good beard. Beard, uh... Do uh, they have that? Yeah. Beard mushroom? Old man's beard. Uh, is it, uh... Beard of the woods? Oh, yeah, yeah, beard of the woods. No, I think, I mean, there's chicken of the woods. Oh. And then Blue Lion's Mane. That's, yeah. Is it Lion's Mane? Yeah, Lion's Mane, maybe. I don't know. I just I want to hear about really weird-looking mushrooms, I guess. Well, if you know that one I showed you, if I still call me. Oh. Lion like Mane, you know you? Hey, Sean, you keep doing that while he's talking, and then I can't understand what he's saying. Or I can't understand what I'm hearing either. Oh, okay, that's, that's nice. That's a, no, see, you're doing great. How far do they travel to get the mushrooms to collect them all? Like, um, I'm probably like three hours at the most. Yeah. It's local mushrooms. I think they go to the Coast Range a lot and the Cascades. Hey, that's nice. Have you been to that mushroom farm? Yeah. There's a mushroom farm in Lacey? It smells. What? The mushroom farm in Lacey smells like manure because that's how they grow the mushrooms. That's cool. What? Does it smell like manure? manure. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, it didn't really, it maybe smelled a little mushroomy, but it didn't smell like much. Oh, uh, yeah, no. We're talking about the la the farm in Lacey. Oh. There's a mushroom okay. farm. Wow, really? Yeah. Manure. Um, hey, so this is a little, this is a weird maybe question, but 
Um, do they talk about like psychedelic mushrooms at all there, or what? A, what is their stance on that? The, the mushroom uh, guild. Oh, they don't have them there. Yeah. They all certainly know about them, but they they don't talk much. Yeah. So they're they're like a, the uh, it's the elephant so in the room, if you will. Right. Uh, Interesting. Cool. Yeah. Did they have any food? Yeah. Did they have mushroom food? Mushroom food? Yes. They they cook mushrooms there, but I didn't eat any of them. Interesting. Cool. I don't really like to eat mushrooms. They <laughs> kind of freak me out. To eat. What? Mushrooms are scary to me to eat. when I to eat. I don't like to eat them. I always think cool. they're gonna they're gonna like make me sick or something. They're scary to eat. Yes. When you when your friends pick them. Make yes. Me sick. What about from Safeway? Are you scared of Safeway mushrooms? I just don't like those. I guess. Made me sick. I don't know. One time. I, I, all I can hear is computer noise. Whoa. That's too bad. One time, me mad. I saw these people eat poisonous mushrooms at, when I worked at this restaurant. Yeah. That was really scary. They had to go to the hospital. What? Your friends ate poisonous mushrooms and all got sick and died? No, they had to, they went to the hospital. Holy they were okay. But they, they had to get their stomachs pumped. What? I don't know what they were, but they put them out of their yard. They were. And they, then they just ate them and they didn't even look them up. Yeah. That was fun. I don't think I would trust most people in Olympia to get me mushrooms. That is <laughs> they were sick. They got That's sick. probably wise. I trust myself, but I'm very thorough with mushrooms because they're, you know, kind of dangerous. Have you ever eaten wild mushrooms? Have I ever eaten wild mushrooms? Yeah. Yeah, I do all the time. That you pick? I started mushrooming last fall. Whoa. Yeah, I ate a bunch last fall. And I'm gonna eat a bunch this fall. Yeah, I've eaten the ones that Cedars picked too, the chanterelles. I went with them one time, but I'm really bad at finding mushrooms. How do you find them? are pretty good because they're hard to misidentify and they're really tasty. You just look around, you see them, you don't, you don't like smell them, you don't get like a pig or something? <laughs> what? You don't have like a pig? I you smell like a it out. <laughs> a mushrooming pig? You have like a mushroom detector. Oh, a pig? Isn't that, I thought a pig like finds some mushrooms. No, that, that's for truffles. Truffles? I thought truffles were like a chocolate sneak treat. No. no, there's two things that are called truffles. Oh. One of them is the chocolate. One is this kind of really rare mushroom. Oh. And pigs can smell now, them? They use pigs. They actually use dogs, too. But, yeah, they often use animals to smell them out because they grow in the dirt and kind of half underground. They're, like, pretty hard to find on your own. Oh, wow. That's cool. But those are, those are one of the most valuable mushrooms. Did they have in Washington or what? Huh? They have them in Washington? Uh, they have some here, but they're not as much of a delicacy as the ones from Europe. They're also very valuable here, too. Oh. Hey, Cedar, what are you doing right now? Do you have time to uh, talk about one more thing? Yeah, I'm just driving. <laughs> oh, cool. Um, hey, do you know about the whole Occupy Wall Street thing, what they're all about? Oh. Uh, I mean, I know a little bit about it. Probably no more than y'all. No, probably more than we do. Do you okay, have well, you guys been talking about it on the show? Their well, main yeah. beef is wealth inequality. Wealth inequality. Yeah. So they have a lot of different causes, and they kind of all just are mad about something. So <laughs> what's the <laughs> Occupy part? Why are they trying to occupy something? What it oh, it's just it's kind of an aggressive word, you know. They... They're not leaving until they get their fair share or whatever. Oh. Do you think they're just going to get people and who are going to A lot of local people in Olympia have beef with that because Occupy is like some kind of white person thing on Indian land and all oh. that. So yeah, there's a lot of people protesting different things. And then as with all protests, whenever someone protests something, people have beef with that and protest the opposite thing or protest the way they're protesting. Oh That's my really God. popular to do in Olympia. Yeah. I don't know what they're going to do, though. I mean, they're not going to just, like, get money after protesting. I don't no, know. What, I don't think certainly nothing today. will happen at best. Nothing will happen at worst. It'll hurt the cause. Because statistically and historically, protesting never really helps. Yeah, I don't I don't get why everybody keeps protesting. They're just like, I don't like this thing. I don't like, if you want to do a thing, then you have to do something. You can't just, like, yell in the streets. That's like throwing a, a fit or something. 
I think what's happening... Yeah. I'm I'll, so I'll, mad. I'll wait. This is what it seems like to me. Like they're just going out the streets and being like, <laughs> I'm so it. mad. Uh, give me my money. Give me my money. You have money. I want that money. I don't really get it, so, yeah. I think they should become more militant if they want to actually change things. Yeah. Okay. Because that's all that the rich people understand. The guns. Guns? Uh, yeah, I mean, that would be pretty <laughs> freaky. What? That would be scary, Hockey, if they had guns. I think we're just peacefully protesting now, and I think that's fine. <laughs> well, there was a lot of violence. I saw those cops, like, macing people and stuff. And they must have been doing something. Yeah, it's interesting, because it's definitely teaching a lot of people what it's, you know, how to get respect protesting and how to not get respect like protesting. Because I think a lot yeah. of people dress, you know, like hippies and go out in the streets and protest. Yeah. The I, think, I, think, I think generally what's happening is is that everyone is allowed to protest because you are the 99%. That's everybody. Yeah. So That's everybody but one in a hundred. But that's the idea that it's everyone you're going to be around, you know. It's everyone that's in your town. Yeah. I, think, uh, I guess yeah, I don't know about... There's places. definitely problems with wealth and equality, that's for sure. That's definitely true. Is that, is that worldwide? Because if it's worldwide, then probably most of no, the people... No, this is an American thing. So it's an American thing. It's America is worse than most, probably all developed countries as far as how rich the rich people are compared to how poor the poor people no. are. Other country, other country people are way poorer and richer. Maybe in like countries are poor, but the wealth is distributed more evenly. Oh, okay. Like the top one percent of people in this country have way more than one percent of the wealth. Yeah. And we like what, some what, large number. So everyone's working class. What? Everyone is now working class, and and that's kind of you know unfair. I think Americans deserve a little more. Maybe people. I think I think if you work, you should get paid. Like exactly. my job, for example, I barely get paid anything, and I work really hard in it. Like, you know, I had cold for like a month and a half because I have to work so much. I get paid, like, basically shit, and I don't think that's good for the health of the country. And 99% of other people could say that. Yeah. yeah. I think the country would be a lot more productive, and everyone would be happier and richer if there wasn't this kind of disparity, for sure. Mm -hmm. I don't know if protesting about it, like, they're doing it. Can't fix anything now. Right. No, I know. I don't, I've know, had a, I was, I don't know what to do there. I don't know what I would do. A lot of I older. Guess nothing since that a, a, a lot of older people said that back in 1981, the it was worse. And a lot, like yeah. everyone that's over 50, has said that it used to be worse in 1981 when we had uh, um, the job, like jobs were down to 13 percent, like, and that's like. Yeah, we have today. I think people got paid more. Than, I mean, I, my dad could just work, like, a regular job and afford a car when he was in high school. Like, nobody can do that anymore unless it's a piece of shit car. Oh, yeah. You can just buy a brand new car. That'll never happen. Well, yeah, really? That seems kind of crazy, yeah. Yeah, and then, oh, man. Yeah, I mean, eventually, it eventually goes away. That's the thing, though. What, the car? Uh, no, eventually the protesters are just going to be like, you know, that was fun. They heard what we had to say, and now we're going to go back to our jobs. Yeah, and then they'll claim it's some kind of victory, and nothing will change. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, well, I don't know what, we're just I waiting don't know what it out. The solution is, though. That's too bad. I think there's the solution is already here. We're, we just need to be heard. We need to say that the people are here to stay, and that at the end of the day, it's going to be us that runs the country, because we're the ones yeah. that are, you know, raising the kids and doing everything. We're 99%. Yeah, but, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's good that people are talking about wealth and equality. It seems like people haven't really been much until now. Yeah, exactly. Everyone just kind of Outside accepted Outside of, it. like, college. Yeah. I have college loans, so I'm definitely in that and it, category. And then if it gets to a yeah. point where it is talked about in an intelligent manner, then I think that it will be uh, more readily agreed upon as a thing that's important, too. Because I think, like, since wealth and inequality was only talked about in a college setting before, then it seems like that it's only something, you know, crackpot student kids or whatever, hippie students talk about. But it's, it's yeah. really an issue that affects everybody. I think that's a stereotype. Absolutely. It is, but, but people believe it and think in that, in that way. That's what the news is using, you know, the hippies. Yeah. These are just yeah, regular people. To do that. And they're getting paid yeah. off. I mean, the cops got paid off by the 
by the Wall Street people execs yeah, and sort right of like, that. who are these crazy. Wall Street people? How come we can't just become a Wall Street person then? If they're you all, can. if they're all these people are so mad about it, then you just go get, just start getting into the stock market and becoming a Wall Street person yourself. But that's the problem. You would Wait. probably still be one of the 99% even working there. Yeah, so who are they complaining against? The 1%, they don't even know, and they're not going to be affected by anything anyway, right? They're hiding. <laughs> like, it's just, it has to start somewhere. But I mean, if they're, you know, paying people in the media to try to, uh, you know, spin it so that it sounds like the, you know, they're calling it the Tea Party of the Left or whatever, or, yeah, Tea Party of the Left type thing, that... That shows to me, at least, that they're a little bit afraid of what's going on or can see that it's actually important or a threat, you know? What I don't get is why finance jobs should get paid more than regular jobs. Like, are they more valuable to society? I don't think so. No, no. You could probably drop, drop the camera really low. You know, I think most of the money is probably in the banks. Banks have all the money, right? Not even people. People don't even have the money. It's all the banks. I don't know if the protest people are purchasing the banks, but they have all the money, not Should the people and the corporations and stuff. Fleetwood Mac had put it really well. I'll play a song by Fleetwood Mac. What? What? No, the What is happening? What is happening? Yeah, well, okay. You know, I guess that's good. That thanks for thanks for all your information about mushrooms and uh, Wall Street. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, was, um, it was wonderful to talk to you, Cedar. It's this is pretty. Uh, hopefully, I'll get yeah. to see you soon. I think my job's gonna end this week, so I'll be up in Oli for longer. Yeah, oh, right. come on to the program. Okay, I will. Are you gonna be here in October, at the end of October? Uh, yeah, I hope so. Can I put you on the schedule, even though you might not show up? I'll, uh, I'll call you back, like, towards the end of the week and schedule a time. All right. Thanks, Cedar. Okay, good to, see, good to talk to you. Bye, Cedar. Bye. Cedar. Bye. Yeah, I don't really know anything about these the occupation the occupying things, but I think they said I heard that they're gonna try to occupy Olympia and Seattle and stuff too. Yeah, so Seattle. It's like a kind of a trend. I don't know. Maybe after the they're already there. Some of my friends are doing it. Yeah. It's like Seattle. It's just a very general. It's a very so general. What do you do? Just go stand in the street? Is that the or yeah? Are, and you hold up traffic? signs and you make friends. Can you block traffic? Uh, you can if you try hard enough. Maybe I feel like after like flash mobs and like the internet, like getting together in big groups is not even a thing anymore. Yeah, what do you? Why are they just like chatting? Would you just get like, bored after a while? I think the idea is that if if these kids got paid more, they wouldn't be so angry, you know. But they want it. What are they getting paid for? What are they even doing? They just want more money to have like fun. If you want more jobs, if you want more money, then you can start selling something and start a business. That's what the American way is. You know, just get money from nowhere. I know. <laughs> so it's, it's very from. general. I, I, I hope it stays, you know, peaceful. Yeah. We're, we're gonna, there's going to be a, unrest. I guess there's all that stuff, yeah. We're going to, yeah, today's a little bit, politi- it's a political episode, but it's a political time in the world right now, maybe. Yeah. And we're also trying to get through the, the you know, the yeah. spin and understand what's going on, because I don't think we understand, I don't know, I certainly don't feel like I have a, a, a total grasp of what's going on. I don't know. People, I, like people know the streets, but I don't think protesting really ever does anything. I always see those people downtown. I they have signs that say like, they like peace. Yeah, no. It's like everyone likes peace. Why. Who's against peace? Like, who are you trying to promote? What are you trying to do? Like, who's going to see the signs and change their mind after seeing a sign like that? Please, I'm peace. Oh yeah, I was I was kind of anti-peace for a second there, and now that sign just changed yeah. my life. I was a, yeah. I don't know what they're doing. I saw it, there was one for like domestic violence, which is also bad. And of course, domestic violence is bad, but they, 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 they people on the streets. They had a sign that said, "End domestic violence." Um, but like, I that's kind of a personal problem for people, and I don't think holding up a sign can actually do anything about that. I mean, maybe like getting like voting. Maybe you can hold up a sign for people who are going to vote, or if you have like a specific initiative or something to vote for, maybe people can see that. But ending general. And you can't end general problems like economy, <laughs> the economy, and like domestic violence and peace. These are very large things that take very small. You have to be more specific. All you protesters, you should get more specific with your uh, with your demands there. You know, like like what do you want? Peace? Like that's not saying much really well, to me. Well, um, we're still not advertising anything here. 
This is Tony and the Jets. Uh, they have nothing. We have. I mean, I know a Christmas albums out there somewhere. Man, yeah, we can't show that commercial anymore. Though. The function. Why do you We're playing commercial for ourselves. Yep. Edom. Edom. Y-D-H-W-M. 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 Yeah, not 11 Thanks, Robert. Boss. Yeah, thank you, boss. Thanks, boss. This is an especially important boss day because if you have a boss, that means you're employed and maybe not fighting on the streets. I know. You know, there's so many people in the world. That's what I was about to get to. I don't know. Did you just... I'm feeling loud enough. That shouldn't be talking about the political stuff anyway. I don't know. You want to see something that's been really shiny and nice and not, not yeah. political at all? I brought some crystals. Right. Ooh. Let's get some close-up shot of those crystals. Um, we usually call Mike Aki too. Ask him about the how he's gonna because it's gonna fix. Here they are, whoa! Crystals. So these are from Cedar too. Cedar's all in that nature stuff, huh? Yeah, we went together and found these crystals. Um, they're emeralds. That's what the computer. Yeah, let's let's put them on. Uh, it will flip. Oops. Uh, something's too hot. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> something, something. Something, something. Ow. Ooh. Is that coming through to the viewers? It could be me. Feedback. I think it's coming through to the viewers. I'll take, I'll take a look. Here's a crystal. Yeah, look. See, Whoa. I found these. It's no Ooh, nearby. It's no call me pass. They're emeralds. No, they're, they're quartz. Did you crystals. Stuff? No, uh, they're in the ground in it's granite yeah. and basalt and stuff. Oh. Yep. And uh, you dig them out. Excuse you. You dig them out and then um, wash them off, and then they're crystals. They just they form in the ground oh, under stuff. pressure and heat. That one's very clear. I'm yeah. like translucent to the map. Uh, you could uh, yeah. there. get these at um. Yeah, but you can get these at you know Radiance or whatever. Right? Yeah. We, we went out into the into the actual world and uh, found, found them on the ground, and it wasn't that hard really at all. This one's super prickly for How do you get the shape of this? It's just like like. It's just like that. We just found it in the ground. They form themselves like that. Wow. That's natural. Is this not a diamond? No, it's a it's a quartz crystal. Looks like a diamond enough to me. I would buy it. If someone put this in a ring told me it was a diamond, I would think it was. I've always thought that a, it quartz would make a better ring than uh, diamonds yeah, anyway. Yeah, make a ring out of this thing? Yeah, yeah. totally. Oh, yeah. Definitely. My friend used to make uh, rings like that. It's he a four crystal. I would neck. buy it and I would think it yep. was it. Anyway, those are them. Wait, where'd they go? Yep, here. Look at that one. Oh, wow. Uh, it's a force yeah. crystal. I would buy it and I would think it was it. What's that robot voice? This is nice. Crystals. Hey, if you guys want yeah. money, go go shopping for crystal or go put crystals Very in the ground and sell them yeah. for us. We should give one of these away as a uh, raffle. You can also call Mike Geeky. Oh, yeah, let's call Mike. We'll call Mike and then, Very we'll, uh, cool. Ready. then we'll do a raffle. Really very cool, Freddy. Mike. Really very cool, Freddy. Okay, I'm gonna put him away now. You oh, like that, Freddy? Yes, I can. What's that? This is it. Hello, Mike. Thank you. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. It's the program. Hey, Mike. Oh, hey. <laughs> How you doing today? Hey, uh, I'm pretty good. I'm just doing a little homework. What's going on there? Is this live? Yeah, yeah we're live. Yeah, I'm doing good. 
Sean's doing really good. I am doing good. Yeah. Hey, so you you, you can help us fix the red the red screen, right? Because right now Sean's all red. See, look, Sean. See, yeah. the, see how red Sean is? Thank you, the red screen. Um, well, I can't see you guys right now, but I'll I'll take your word for it. But you can you can help us I out, can right? See you. Yeah, I can. You got the you got the parts the parts to fix the redness. Yeah, I have. You got the power. Yeah, I think we have a, a, a disease on the. Wait, well, I guess I'm still wondering about this, Mike. Do you, what do you what do you think about the occupy occupying New York thing? Uh, you mean like Occupy Wall Street? Yeah. Well, I mean, sounds like they're uh, they're out there <laughs> making their voices heard. So I, you know, uh, I approve of. You uh, anybody fighting for their causes. So. Oh, yeah. That's good. Well, Mike, do you want to come onto the program in the future, or do you want to just uh, do stay behind the scenes and help us with the thing? Uh, I think I'll stay behind the scenes for now. I mean, uh, maybe a weekend show if you got one. Yeah. Maybe, uh, well, we have. You can come on next Sunday, or Sean here, or Saturday, if you want. Saturday would be good. I don't have to work on Saturday. We could make a big production day of it. You want to come on the 22nd, or at least meet up on the, the 22nd? 14th? Or 14th? The 15th. Oh, 14th. 15th. Oh. 15. You say 15? 15? Is that a Saturday? F 15th is a s yeah. Saturday, yeah. 15th is a Saturday. You want to get together for production day on the 15th? Sure. All right. Saturday. Well, the show's at 2 on that day, so we'll, we can... Uh, Meet earlier. Meet earlier. No, or no, 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 around then. Okay. No, 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 no. All right. Okay, Mike. I guess we'll talk to you closer to that day. Thanks. Okay. Thanks for everything, Mike. You're you're such you're a really big help. And uh, have you did you watch the episode you directed yet? Uh, I don't I don't think I saw all of it. No. No, man. It it was a tour de force. You did a great job as the director. You really did a fantastic job. Oh well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, fun working with you guys too. <laughs> All right, thanks, Mike. Yeah, we're gonna do another one of those. Uh, maybe, probably not. Maybe in October, but maybe not. I yeah, don't maybe, know. maybe probably though. Okay. All well, right. I'll help you out if you do have one. So. We should right. do it on the seventeenth. And that's a Monday. Yeah. Um, because then it could be the thirty-first or the twenty-fourth. I don't know. We could do it so that it is a uh, Halloween. We gotta do a good Halloween episode. That's on the twenty-fourth. Maybe we could do a TCT twenty-fourth. I don't know. Uh, okay. Uh, well, thanks, Mike. Costume. Thanks, Mike. Bye bye. Uh, Somebody's calling us. Hello, caller. No, 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 no. Hello. Hi. 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 Oh, Caitlin. Hey. Hey, you haven't been hey. on the show in a long time. I know. I'm just calling, but yeah. How you doing? Hi, Caitlin. Good. I was actually calling to see if you know where I can find a lighter in this house. Oh. That's tricky. Uh, um. Hmm. Oh, check, check on your the, stove check and then the pockets in my jackets, maybe. Or let's see. I got a there's a lighter oh, here in the no. studio. I found a lighter here. Oh, oh wait. No, never mind. Uh, I'm stupid. You found one? Oh, you're not stupid. Yeah. You're not stupid. Uh, we can vouch for that. Oh, thanks. Hey, Caitlin. Okay. Today, today is National Boss Day. We're celebrating National Boss Day. Are you happy for your boss or? Oh, National Boss Day. Yes. Oh, do you am I happy for that? Oh. Do you like your boss? I have or like what do you three think? bosses. Do you have anything good to say about any or one of them? Um, well, they're all pretty cool. I'm glad that I don't have a shitty boss. Thanks, boss. Yeah. That's incredible. You have three bosses and not a single That's shitty really one. That's nice. good. Yeah, they're That's all good. Really nice. I'm actually yeah. not even sure at my, at my work who's the boss. Like everybody kind of, because I'm new there, and they kind of just tell me what to do, and I just listen to everybody. And I'm not sure which one is the actual boss. Who's the boss? Yeah, who's the boss, right? Who's the boss? It's like uh, that show. Hey, Caitlin, you should come back on the program. Do you want to come at, uh, in October sometime? Do you guys have a boss on the show right now? No. A boss? Oh. We're, we're okay, on, what on the program. We are the boss. We're our own bosses. Everybody's the boss. Oh, uh, okay. In life. So I guess what, that's the boss. What was the question? I guess uh, no. Oh, do you want to come on the program sometime soon this October? Yeah, I think Brianna wants to as well. We should yeah. both come on. Uh, Brianna is scheduled for the 19th. That's going to be uh, next Wednesday. Not this coming Wednesday, but the Wednesday after. You can come on with her. Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Not this Wednesday, but the Wednesday after? Yes. 
Okay, well, actually, I can't do it on Wednesdays. That's my busiest day. So, well, well, you, you're going to be in Hawaii, right? No, I get back from Hawaii on Monday. Uh, okay, you're going to get a tan? Don't do her that, so do you are a good. I don't know, maybe. But I can't do Wednesdays for about, sure. I'll do another Friday? day. Um, yeah, I can do Friday, but it has to be after 4 o'clock. Oh, uh, that might work. I don't know. Well, well I guess we'll get. How about. Uh, oh, you don't like Wednesdays? Maybe. Well, I don't know then. <laughs> Come on with. Uh, Aviva's coming on, on Tuesday at 2 o'clock. Before Brianna. Oh. Is that a good one? At 18th? 2 o'clock. On the 18th. Um. I might be able to do Tuesday at 2 o'clock. All right. If it's like right at 2 o'clock. Because I work at 3. Uh, well, you can leave early. We'll, we'll, it doesn't really matter. We'll, yeah. try to, we'll schedule maybe in November, too. Well, thanks for calling, Caitlin. All right. Call well, anytime. See you later. If you your light. I mean, even if, you, uh, even if we can't help you find your lighter and you have a question, like, yeah. where's the lighter, you can call us and maybe we'll call you back anyway, even though we don't know the answers. Oh, okay. Anyway, how do you feel about the uh, occupying things? Do you think we should occupy Wall Street? you think that's a good idea or a bad idea? Oh, to occupy Wall Street? Yeah. yeah. Um, I think it's a good idea. I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about it, but I am in the virtual occupation on the internet. Oh, see, that's more of my style, too. You don't really have to do anything. You just click a thing, and then you're occup occupying. Yeah, right, right at this very moment, I am virtually occupying Wall Street. Oh, wow. Good job. They should put I don't really know what that entails. I haven't really done anything, but... Well, it's, it's good of you to virtually stand up for your beliefs. Thanks. <laughs> All right, thanks, Caleb. Yep. See you later. Is that okay, bye. Oh, bye. Bye, bye. Oh, bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, okay. You We're getting down to it. It's the big finale of the show. We have about seven minutes left. We talked about Wall Street, talked about mushrooms, looked at some crystals. Sean did some stuff on the thing there. Yeah, you got any more things to do, Sean? This is what I was doing today. It's good. It sounds good over there. Straws and computers. You're adding an extra element. Can you make the computer voice clap? Uh, clap? Yeah, I can make it do anything. Check this out. I will make it clap. It sounds just like a real clap. Okay. Clap, clap, clap. Yeah, that's pretty good. Some good applause. Can you put like yeah. K's? K's with spaces? K, K, K. K, 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 K. And, and what kind of, like, voice should I use? Is that going to clap? Hey, 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 Chick. 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 Right? C-H-K. Yeah, that's a clap sound. C-H-K, 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 C-H-K. No, I didn't like it. Well, that's great. You guys know how to make a voice clap? Microsoft Clam clap? Clam? Microsoft Clam? Did you get the program? No. Do it, do it on there, Kenny, then we can talk back and forth. No, it oh, takes, it yeah, take, it's going to take me um, like a minute to get it to work. You've got to download the plug in. You have mo get almost a... more than a minute. No, well, the, not the problem is, is that my main drive is not labeled C drive. It's labeled I drive. I don't know why that happened, but it is. And lots of programs, they want to use a C drive, but there is no C drive. It's, it's like I it's drive confusing. for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Just change it to C. Computers. Do you do you never know what you're doing with computers. Uh, hopefully, Dan will be back tomorrow. Otherwise, we might be. There might not be me tomorrow. We'll have to find out. Well, if it is, figure out a way to contact. I've got a guest coming into town uh, from Vancouver who has been on the show before. Might want to be on the show. All right. Um, if, they, if you don't have a guest. How much time do you have Dan. left? You got six minutes. It's five minutes, maybe. All right. So you're not gonna have a phone. Yeah, we're gonna call you Google Voice. But uh, so we, yeah, so we have about five minutes left. Hopefully, Dan will be back tomorrow. <sighs> After that, we have Chelsea, and then Wednesday we have a uh, Gina. Ooh, Gina. I'm excited for Gina. I saw her on TV last week, and it was really good. Oh, on the phone? Yeah. Yeah, she's a wild one. So Gina and, um, yeah, she was saying some pretty nasty things, really, on the phone. So maybe <laughs> I'm just going to keep it being nasty. No, that's the kind of thing I like to hear on TV. Yeah, exciting nastiness. So her and I think Heather and uh, Summer will be probably with her. And then on Thursday, we have uh, Davey. And we're going to water the cactus on Thursday. Ooh, too. Davey. Davey, Davey Rojic. Yes. And then Friday we have Bird. And Bird's a political guy. He'll know about the walk. Oh, he'll know all about it. And then Saturday. We should have called yeah. Bird to begin with, possibly, but. Saturday. Too late now. Nora and Mike. Oh, we could probably still call Bird. We have five minutes. Okay, let's give him a shot. Uh, and while we're on the topic, you know. Yeah. Is this a little TV? 
sticker? Uh, I don't know. Right. So the, we're uh, we calling Bird now, but he's going to come on on Friday, and then on Saturday we have Nora because uh, Lewis still has to be back, and then Sunday uh, back with Sean probably, and then Monday Dan, and then Tuesday Viva, and then Wednesday Brianna, and then Thursday Maggie. Hello, Bird. Hey, program. Hey, Bird, how you doing? Hey, it's the program. Yes. I'm doing good. How are you? We're, yeah, we're I, great. We're on TV. I think me and Freddie, we, we caught your cold. I mean, even not directly from you, but it's probably the same cold that's going around town. Penny, Penny, I talked to you, and you had a cold, and then a week yeah, later, man. I had a cold. Penny, yeah. 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 I think it's just a collective experience of living in Olympia. We're all getting the same colds. It's true. Yeah. So, we're, we're, we're kind of, we're, we only have four minutes, but I wanted to know what you think about occupying Wall Street. Oh, I, can, I have all kinds of thoughts about that. I'd love to talk about that. Well, you have, four, you have about three minutes. What do you think about it? Well, um, you know, I think it's pretty exciting. Yeah, uh, yeah I think it's exciting. Hey, uh, but before I, I, I was thinking of... Is Sean there? Yeah. That's what the that's what the noise is. is. Yeah, I wanted to ask Sean if he's seen any ghosts recently. No, but I think they've been trying to call me through my dreams. I think they're upset. Yeah, I I think that there's some ghosts around these days. Yeah. <clears throat> it's it's a dream. Wait, go on, bird. Uh, so anyway, so uh, Occupy Wall Street, yeah, I have all kinds of thoughts. Three minutes, I don't know. You know, now I'm down to two minutes, probably even less. I don't know, what do you think about it? Well, we've been talking about it the whole time already, so we're kind of getting different opinions on it, I guess. Yeah, I've it's been having some disagreements. Like, I, I've been posting a lot on the Facebook group for the Olympia one. Oh yeah, how's that, is that a happening? Where is that happening? Well, I think there's going to be what's called the General Assembly this this Wednesday. That's uh, obviously it'll be in the past by the time the show goes on That's the true. television. You know. But uh, but uh, you know, hyper live and all. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, I mean, this is, I think there's a big the the thing to look forward to in the future is that there's a special session for the legislature that's starting on November 28th. Ooh. And that's a month early, and so people are planning to have a protest when on the first day of the, the legislative session to protest budget cuts. Oh. And, and say, we need jobs, not cuts. We need revenue. We need to tax the wealthy and, you know, have a little bit more common sense in our society. Yeah. So... You know, that's Common my sense is all too uncommon. I think that's a phrase. We already so. don't have any money. Yeah, people want to get more money, but we're already in a budget crisis, so they want more money anyway. Well, Bird, thanks. We only have about 20 seconds left, but we'll see you on Thursday, right? Or Friday, I mean. Friday. Yeah, Friday, like, yeah, definitely in the afternoon. Yeah, two, you're scheduled for 2 o'clock on Friday. All right, Bird, thanks. Bye-bye. Thanks a lot, Bird. Bye. Bye. Well, thanks everybody. If you guys have any uh, thing to say, call the number. You know. Thanks, Sean. Yeah, Sean, you're you're adding a nice accent, man. Thanks, guys. That was nice. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. Thanks to YouTube. Thanks for so hosting us. Thanks. Uh, call the number here. This is a phone thing. It's pretty cool. Facebook. Like us to Facebook. Like us to Facebook. Twitter. What about that too. What are all? What do you think you Physical snail mail? Yeah. We've never gotten any mail, so try that out. It's the day. Mm. You guys want to be on the crew? Thank you, Rick Ward. Thanks, dude. Dale. Dale? Oh, yeah, dude. I'm the crew member. Thanks, viewers. Thanks, TCTV. Thanks, Rick Dale. Rick Ward. Thanks, Thanks the baby. Man. Hell yeah, dog! Hell oh, yeah. Uh. Yes. <laughs> 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 <laughs>